Hello, I'm Dr. Nidhi Gupta and I'm going to go through all the neurology subjects you need to learn to pass your MRCP part one. So what are the pathologies that you need to learn? Well, the first big one is stroke. You need to understand the risk factors as well as the symptoms and the clinical presentation, the investigations, CT, MRI for diagnosis, but also management and the further investigations and follow-up such as coronary artery dopplers, echocardiograms and 24-hour tapes. It's important for you, know, for you to understand the medications and the potential side effects. The next big subject is epilepsy not just generalized tonic clonic seizures, but the different presentations of different types of epilepsy, how we manage them, as well as the complications of treatment and the consequences that patients might have from recurrent uncontrolled seizures. It's also important for you to understand the UK driving licensing laws that govern when somebody has a first seizure and when they can learn, when they can drive again and when they can't drive again. The next big subject are movement disorders including, but not exclusive, to Parkinson's disease. It's important for you to understand the uh, presentation, as well as the clinical findings, the investigations, and the potential treatments, and the side effects and complications if people don't take their treatments, as well as longer term side effects and complications that the treat them, treatment themselves have. The next big subject are neuromuscular disorders, specifically myasthenia gravis, uh, peripheral neuropathies, and myotonic dystrophies. It's important to understand the differences, their pathophysiology, as well as what we have to do to investigate for them and the management options. And finally, neurological infections, specifically meningitis, encephalitis, and brain abscesses. How we diagnose them, what their presentation are, and how we manage them, as well as long-term sequelae. So here is an example question. A 45-year-old man presents with a sudden onset right side weakness and difficulty speaking. On examination, there's a right hemiparesis and expressive aphasia. On the National Institutes of Health Stroke Scale score, he, he scores a 12. And brain imaging reveals a left middle cerebral artery territory infarction. Which of the following is the most appropriate immediate management for this patient? A, administer intravenous tissue plasminogen activator. B, initiate aspirin therapy. C, arrange urgent neurosurgical consultation. D, start anti-epileptic medication. And E, administer high-dose corticosteroids. And the answer is A, administer intravenous tissue plasminogen activator. So the clinical presentation is of a stroke with the right-sided weakness, difficulty speaking, and the CT findings of um, the MCA infarct. In patients with an acute ischemic stroke, the most appropriate immediate management is the administration of an intravenous tissue plasminogen activator, as long as they don't have any contraindications. It also has to be within a therapeutic window to dissolve the clot early enough. Initiating aspirin therapy is important for secondary prevention, but is not the immediate management for an acute ischemic stroke. Urgent neurosurgical consultation is not indicated in this scenario. It's typically reserved for cases of large vessel occlusions or hemorrhagic strokes requiring neurosurgical intervention. Starting anti-epileptic medication is not the immediate management for acute ischemic stroke. Seizures are not typically an immediate concern in the acute phase unless there are signs of ongoing seizure activity. And administering high-dose corticosteroids is not indicated for acute ischemic stroke and may carry potential risks without proven benefit. Therefore, thrombolysis with an NI, NIH SS score of 12 is the most appropriate management. Neurology is one of the big subjects in the MRCD part one, and it's important for you to understand and go through all of the curriculum, which you can cover with our hundreds of questions and detailed explanations in our course. Good luck.